Hi guys, let's talk about how the 1% think and why they win, why they succeed, and why they're financially free. 15% of millionaires inherit it. The other 85% make it themselves. So that means 85% were like you and me, where they had a normal family, and then they go on to become millionaires. It's only a small fraction that inherit it or get it in some other way. I need a big favor, smash that like button. Yeah, yeah, go on, smash that like button. Are you sure you did it? If you didn't, smash that like button because that'll help Google decide that I am worth showing to everybody else and I'll owe you a debt. So guys, the 1% are lifetime students. So they don't just go to school, college, university, and then stop learning. You'll see that some of the best books in the world are written by older people. It's because they've constantly been learning and they constantly are learning. Don't just stop at college, university or school. Make sure you are constantly learning. It's 99% of people who are not constantly learning, leveling up, improving their skills, they get left behind. The 1% are not conformists. They don't just settle for the trodden path. They don't just think, oh, everybody's doing that. I will go and do that. They think out of the box, as you might call it. So where a lot of people are thinking, okay, right, I want to solve this problem like this because everybody else is doing this. They're like, no, how can I solve this problem in a better way? How can I solve it more efficiently? The 99% are just wandering through life. They don't know what they're going to be doing in an hour's time or in the afternoon or tomorrow. You know the 1%? They actually have a calendar. They actually write down, well, today at one o'clock I'm doing this, at two o'clock I'm doing this, at four o'clock I'm doing this, and in the evening I'm doing this. And by doing that, you will stick to it. And I can tell you that from experience because I used to go through that, trying to do all the tasks as they came along. But as soon as I wrote them down and started making appointments, I would get to those appointments and I would do those tasks on time because if I didn't, then I felt like, oh, I haven't done that. Better get on with that. One thing the 1% do really well, and that's how they get to the 1%, is they invest in assets and are not liabilities, right? Assets is something that you save money in and it compounds and it gets bigger and bigger and you get more back. So what are assets? Assets could be buying some commercial property that you rent out goes up in value buy some stocks on the stock exchange like google microsoft facebook and they go up in value or investing in a business and then helping that business grow and it goes up in value liabilities would be buying a brand new car when your car's only two years old and you don't need one or spending on clothes just because they're of a certain label and they don't make you look good so i've got some nice clothes on and i'm not bothered about the labels I'm bothered about, do they look nice? Do they fit me well? The man makes the money. The money doesn't make the man. And I hope you understand that. Doesn't matter how much money you give to a guy, if he can't take care of it or present himself well, he'll look a mess. The 1% are very disciplined. The 99% lack discipline. As I explained earlier, you know if you're improving yourself by 1% a week, you'll have improved yourself by 50% over the year, you will be much better at everything. The 99%, they don't, they're not consistent. They'll start something, stop it, you know, they start the gym, next week they're not doing it. They make a New Year's resolution that they're going to go to the gym, look after the health, then they're not doing it. The 1%, they decide that they're going to get healthy, they're going to eat well, and they stick to it. Because you know what wins, guys? Consistency. I can tell you this from starting many businesses, helping many people start businesses and running many businesses, right? That every time that I've been consistent for years and years, at the end of it, the business has turned out to be great. So talking about consistency, make sure you've pressed that like button like you always do on all the videos. Also, the 1% are very flexible. What do I mean by that? Well, the 99%, they're rigid. They think I'm going to do a task and I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to sell a product and I'm going to do it this way. And you know what? When the thing doesn't work, you've got to pivot. You've got to expand. You've got to think. 
of other things to do. So the 1%, they're constantly thinking, right, I've got this problem or I'm doing this thing, that hasn't worked, I'll try this. That hasn't worked, I'll try this. That hasn't worked, I've tried this. Right guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't die average. And you know what? If you're enjoying these videos and you want to see more of them, please press subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.